Oh shit, this is super, this is super scuffed. This is so scuffed. I've literally done this at last minute. I literally just realized the bloody time of when this direct is gonna drop and literally just scrambled just to get here. Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes. Wait, what? Is this like DLC or like a new installment? Oh, is it just um, the Legend of Zelda, um, the Warriors game? Yeah, it's just that, but with Fire Emblem. You know, I'm kind of waiting for Super Smash Bros. Um, Fire Emblem Edition, personally. That's, that's, that's the Fire Emblem game I'm waiting for. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. Was it? Oh, I thought it was the next Mario game. My bad. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes, let's go. The Orange Star Nation needs Oh, the um the tank game, yeah. This does look quite um online multiplayer. It definitely looks very interesting and my say very vibrant. Like it's got some of that a lot of games don't have, and that's um, <clears throat> um, what's the what's it? What is that? Oh yeah, a soul. Oh boy, how downgraded is it going to be on the Switch? <laughs> Every star is the light of a distant sun. Okay, not too bad so far. Travel to planets of your choosing in this infinite, procedurally generated universe. Here. You'll oh, mushrooms loading in. I mean, it's quite cool to see that they've got it now on Switch. Like, after everything that's happened, it's cool to see them grow. Oh. Oh. Oh! Hello! Hello! Welcome, Mario Strikers! Okay, well, I know what the, um... Yep, this is definitely going to be the, the game, like, at least one of the games that, um, you know, people are going to talk about the most. It's going to be, like, the most known game of this direct. Expect to see a lot of direct um, videos, like, in the thumbnail to have, like, this this Mario in it. I def definitely expect to see a lot of them. I definitely expect to see a lot of them. This is cool. Hopefully don't, they don't neuter the thing. Like, I, I, I want to play one of the striker games because they do look seriously cool. I haven't played them, but they look really cool. Um, but I am a bit worried that they might neuter or like downplay the game a bit to get that more age appeal or whatever. Oh. They're actually optimizing. Um, well, no, I wouldn't say optimizing, but more it seems like they're putting a, a bit of a f heavy focus on online play. Are Nintendo finally learning to actually put, like, like multiplayer functions in their fucking games? You know? You know? Is, 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 are they finally doing that? Does, does that mean we'll get better at um, Nintendo Switch Online? No, it'll be worse, in fact. Ow. Wow, oh, shit. Oh, is this like the new um, Splatoon game? Fucking called it. So, it's Call of Duty Zombies, but with like squids and octopuses, you know. Fonzers at the ready. Mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. In this tactical RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. <coughs> Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. <coughs> Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. 
uncover the great storyline of this classic when Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Uh, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. My bad. Disney and Pixar oh. Combat oh. Racer. What? From the creators of the Asphalt series comes Rip Roaring Race. Yeah, <laughs> he said an ass. Pixar inspired racetracks. Race as a legendary roster of characters on high speed speed. What the fuck? Each one special abilities to battle for victory across the uh, I guess Disney have got to get Choose into the um Mario Kart knockoff um biz sooner or later, you know. The uh this game, this the Star Wars game. Is this the one people keep talking? No, I don't think it's the one people keep talking about. But I have heard some people say like it's uh quite good. I don't know, I never played it. The complete saga of legendary assassin what? Auditorio da Frenze awaits in three critically acclaimed assassins. What? <laughs> he got him into Smash. But, you know, you know, Ezio got into Smash and was like, Hey, listen here, man. Um, why is your also at it? Uh, would your also mind going ahead and adding, um, adding my game on the Switch? Oh, cool, a Gundam game. Next. Oh. The protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate world. Got no clue what that is, but okay. Well, you gotta have, you know. Well, you know, they can't all be winners. You know, you gotta have the few out there that just kind of like thingy. But oh, well, look, it's a Kirby game. It's it's 3D Kirby. Everyone, shut up. It's Kirby. Kirby's on the screen. I wonder if this is actually like an in-game cutscene. I hope this is like a cutscene. And this is like what we're going to expect. No Kirby, don't eat the car! Oof. Oh. Kirby car! Introducing... Mouthful mode. Oh god. I worry as what the internet might do with this. <laughs> might do with that idea. Hmm. Oh! This is actually looking quite cool. I've never played a Kirby game, but this is now making me want to play a Kirby game. Which is what this game should exactly be trying to do. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I don't think people are gonna be buying this game on the Switch, really. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Oh, collection time! Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts three. Hey, Kingdom Hearts is on the Switch now. It's on the Switch. It's on the Switch. It is here. It is what people have been wanting ever since forever, even like years before Sora came to um like uh um Smash. So yeah, now it's um yeah now and now it's uh, now it's on the Switch. So yeah, I mean it's cloud version, but. It's there. Each collection's cloud Better than nothing. Oh, I've heard of this character before. I don't really know this game, but I have seen that character um, around on the internet a bit. Just don't ask where. <laughs> what? A portable portal game. Your key to surviving I mean, I, I mean, we kind of already had that thing because wasn't wasn't that weird like that Steam thing? I'm a bit surprised that they that Steam actually done this, considering the fact they've already got their own portable game console thing coming out. So I guess that didn't do well. But holy crap! Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every I was when portal companion collection. I was not expecting that one. I was not expecting that. I expect to see that in the thumbnail for a bunch of direct um things. Uh direct reactions. Oh. 
Oh, this is um, Octopathling. What other stories are on the horizon? It looks cute. It definitely looks quite cute. I say as the character is, you know, threatening to kill another character. But yeah, it does look quite cute. How was that? Next up is this. Oh, just getting straight to it. Oh. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Oh! There we go. Bow! Fucking time. Let's go. Took you forever. And oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Uh, one step forward, 200 steps back. What the fuck are those? What are those? What are those things? What are they? <laughs> Where are the Mies? Where are the Mies? Like, I'm happy for Wii Sports is on the Switch, but... Where are the Mies? A gigantic ball to make uh, Nintendo, I thought I thought we had something going. I thought like you were finally doing something with me's again with me Topia, but then you, you come out with this and it's just. Eh. I'm sorry, but no, I I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, Wii Sports isn't anything without the Miis. And the the, the, the the specific Miis I'm talking about are the ones with no limbs. And they've got no legs and they've got, like, no arms. They've only got, like, those little ball things. Like, they've got, like, a Rayman syndrome going on there. Like, those are Miis for me. You know, those are the true Miis. The game supports local play with so to do a me game, so to do a Wii Sports game without those me's, like even if you do like the new designs where they have limbs, I would still be happy because it's still the me's. But the fact that they're just using these weird new ones, it's just why you're completely making me's. Pointless and worthless. Like you're not using them at all. Like you used to use them so much, and everyone else used to use them. But now you're not using them, and the only reason no one else is using them is because we can't use them. So it's like, what the hell? I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me as well. All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. Oh, shit. Have a bit of a showdown. Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. Oh. What do we expect today from the oh. uh, I mean, uh, 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 it's, it's, it's. I mean, it's close. It's 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 kind of there, but like. I I no, it's it's not the same. It's not the same. It's it's not the same. No, it just it's just not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. I don't the game! <laughs> the game but in all seriousness, what the fuck, Nintendo? Come on, man. Give us the Miis. Just give us the Miis. Like, the actual Miis. Not whatever this shit is. Oh! Okay, quickly, mark down calendars. <laughs> quickly, mark down calendars. Mark down calendars. Mark down calendars. Mark down calendars. <laughs> I thought I was about to say, that's all we have now for this Nintendo Direct. I hope we still got more coming up. What we got? Oh, that that game, that guy. Don't know it. I mean, I know of it, but I don't really know it. So, cool. I mean, it's not. It's not. I'm not saying like it's the end of the world. I'm not saying this again. You're like, you're gonna have your big hitters, and then you're kind of gonna have the the sour ones, and then you're gonna just kind of just have the ones that are like. 
Yeah, that's okay. I mean, you can... Wait. Wait, Megalovania. Wait, hold on a second. Was that just... Did you just fucking name Megalovania? What? Take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times Oh shit, you've got uh, oh shit, you got a, a Nintendo theme coming on here? Oh well, don't expect anyone playing this game because copyright strike, 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 copyright I mean, people are probably going to be playing it, but no one's going to be playing the Nintendo songs on it when they make videos for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the yeah, Cuphead. Yeah, good to see, good to see, good to share. God, Jesus Christ. When, when did the game... Like, did the game first come out? Oh, you can play it throughout the regular game. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that one, but... That's cool. That's cool. You got something for fans. Um, no, well, for, you got something for fans who have won a real massive challenge. Yeah, but and fans who, yeah, fans who want a challenge, or, and fans who want a bit more in the game, and you've got stuff for people that are playing this for the first time. So that's cool. That's cool. I, I think that's cool. No fucking way. Holy shit. They did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. They actually did it. They actually did it. They actually did it. They actually they actually did it. They did it. They did it. They, the Nintendo have actually acknowledged that Earthbound exists outside of Smash Bros. You know. They've done it. They're actually now acknowledging that this franchise exists. Huh. Today. Okay, now all we gotta do is wait for like um, Earthbound like two, Mother Three. I don't know how this fucking franchise works. Oh. Here we are in a wreck. Just speed it through it. Speed run. Quickly. Speed run. Speed run. Go. Quickly. Quickly, uh, we've got this tile. Um, uh, oh, got this um, the, the the anime weeboo thing. Look, look, slashy, slashy. Um, cool art and animation that's actually really sick. It, um, now we've got um, Demon Slayer, uh, Dragon Ball Z fighter game. And then we have this Lego game. Thing. I, I, I know it, it's Lego, so you know. I mean, it's not Lego Star Wars, but it's, it's, it's something. Uh, two Point Campus. Um, that one Sega game that nobody actually remembers uh, exists. It, it's, it's like, like it's like, oh, it's there, and then people forget about it. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So. We've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series. What are you doing? We'll be releasing them as paid downloadable courses. What are you doing? Please take a look at this trailer. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh my god. They actually added in content. They actually did it. They actually. Paid DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8. There's actually content. I mean, I thought they would do like an entirely new game. They're really trying to drag it out as much as possible. <laughs> We're not making a night. But honestly, this is really cool. Oh shit, what? Additional courses we plan on releasing Whoa! Courses such as 
coconut moss. Four, so at the end of this, we're going to have 48 new Choco courses. Nuts. That's an entirely, like, that's enough courses for an entire game. Wait, are these like, I like some of these, like, I haven't played Mario Kart in a while, so are they also adding, like, new carts? Because some of them I don't really recognize, but. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Fast will launch March 18th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Wait, does it cost 20, around like 20 quid, like, per wave? With Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack Hmm. If it's to, if if it's to to buy the whole thing, I'm down for it. But if it's um, how was that? If it's for each individual wave that it costs around twenty quid or like around twenty dollars or whatever, then it, then I don't. I mean, I'm I I I'm. I mean, as much as it's a new course, like yeah, like I think it was like. 10 or something new courses in order to live. I do think that's really crazy but at the same in time like I don't think it's really worth that price like yeah you get like six Away courses line. for like 25 quid that just seems like a bit expensive Ionios. if it's the whole thing like 48 courses cost 25 or like 20 quid in general so yeah I like how I'm talking about this stuff while serious you know, shit is going on here. This is like a new, new Xenoblade game, because because everyone's got crazy weapons, and every single person is British. Well, that's going to be add it to the list. Add it to the list, you know. So I think it's Mario Strikers. Uh, you know. We, we that we we sports, um, Mario Kart DLC, and this game um, are going to be like the top top dogs when it comes to conversations about this direct. Imagine now of nowhere at the end of this, they just go ahead and say, "Oh, here's a here's a brand new Smash character," you know, just left field, just out of nowhere, Smash character, boom. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you for watching. Man, that was actually quite um quite interesting. It's not being sarcastic or anything, it's just quite cool. Um but yeah, I think those are definitely the ones I mentioned are pretty much the big ones. Um I'm trying to think what else would be sort of um I would say Portal, Portal coming, and Kingdom Hearts also coming. Um, to the Switch would definitely be um, some big names and everything. So it's quite cool. Yeah, um, Earthbound coming to the Switch as well. Uh, in the end, that's going to be a big one. Like you know, so who knows? Maybe they might lead to. Um, Mother, like Earthbound, Mother 3 or whatever that game's called. I don't understand how that whole franchise works. Like its name and schemes and everything. It's just so bloody confusing. But hopefully the third game will... This will probably might lead to the third game being ported for English release. So that'd be kind of cool. So yeah. Uh, generally, I don't think there was anything too exciting. Like there was definitely some cool stuff in the Direct. Um, but if I would say I was completely blown away, that wouldn't be the truth, but I wouldn't say that at the same time there wasn't something I was really t taken aback and really, um, you know, impressed with. So I just say it's quite, it's quite a solid direct. That's my sort of thing of it. It's a solid direct. It, you had a few announce, announcements here and there. They're a bit like... Okay, when when's the real stuff coming along, you know, and a few uh, You know a few ones that looked quite good and decent um, But then you had like the big hitters uh, Come out and say that would like the real stuff everyone came here for to see so yeah, 
I mean, yeah, you can, they can't be, they can't all be winners at the end of the day. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like whatever. Yeah, I still say it was pretty good. No, I definitely am looking forward to a lot of uh, these things uh, that are coming out, and I definitely say that. Um, yeah, of the few big ones. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's my reaction. That's my thoughts on the whole thing. So yeah, so um, get out. What what are you still doing here? Get out. I don't understand what what are you waiting for. Why are you still here? Get out. Get out.